How much do gambling sponsors pay? LOL? Hey, I'm Jesus. Main channel Jesus video, no shot. Guys, I have to watch this. I have to watch this. Oh my days. Hey, Zeus is one of the guys who doesn't accept gambling sponsors, like um, weird case opening sites and stuff. And the offers that I sometimes receive and, and, and like that they offer to, to people in the content creator space is absolutely disgusting. Like it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You, you take another normal sponsor and you feel you feel like you feel like you're the stupidest person ever. Bruder. Chad, I have to watch this. I just have to, bro. I just have to. Hey, I'm Jesus. In, oh God. In this video, we're going to be trying Does he say numbers, numbers? No shot. Figure out just how much money I would have made if I took gambling <laughs> no sponsors shot. my entire career. Have you ever wondered what the cost of ethics are? Well, today we're going to be taking a look <laughs> at just that. And remember, no matter how much money I've given up, three clicks Philip and Warrow have given up even more. Let's. Hey, hey! Hey, yo! I'm taking a gambling sponsor. Bro, like, um, but I didn't either! Shy, dude. Nah, nah, I'm taking one. Bro. Even more. This is why I don't take them, bro. For moments like this one. Sh Let's get into things. Now, this video is not sponsored, but if you could leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, that would be massively appreciated. Also, I have an affiliate link in the pinned comment. Use it to help support my channel. So, we're going to base this on the offers I've received from gambling sites over the years. Oh. Not what I might have gotten if I haggled the dodgiest possible site for the highest possible amount, just what I've been offered. Now, my YouTube really got going in early 2019. That's when I started pulling in a consistent audience, mostly thanks to bangers like anime themed skins. I'm oh. gonna guess he's a YouTuber, right? Not a Twitch streamer. Boy, I don't know the YouTube numbers, bro. I never do YouTube sponsors ever. I'm guessing it's like per video where it's like you do one minute of showing the site, you play on it, you have a code. It has to be like 50k video, more than that. And it was in May that I got my first ever gambling offer, which was $500 a video plus affiliates. Now, this offer was a low ball. That's kind of small. But there was also a lot less money in gambling back then. And I had no idea what my Wait content was worth, so I didn't know what to ask for. However, what I did know is that my reputation wasn't worth $500 a video, so I said no. But what if I said yes? Over the next 12 months, I released 134 videos. Now, $500 for each of these videos is 67,000 US dollars. Now, I have no idea what my affiliates would have pulled, but- What do you mean 500 a video? $200 a video. All up, that would have gotten me 93,800 When was this, when you got 10K views? Dollars. Not a bad income, although compared to what's coming, it's basically peanuts. Uh -huh. So the reason I stopped at May 2020 is because in May 2020, I got a marginally better offer. And by marginally better, I mean 50k a month. I'm not sure if that would have included affiliates or not. We're going to- It's still low though. Like, bro, like, uh, what, what amount of views though? Assume it didn't. And unlike the- For a gambling sponsor, like, I, I, I've heard ridiculous numbers, like 50k a video and this offers, this offer was actually pretty reasonable. I, I don't know exactly what other content creators were getting at the time, but I don't- I think it's gonna get much more, uh, uh, like, weird afterwards. Consider this one to have been a mad lowball. Still, I said no because I'm stupid, I guess, although it's only gonna get worse from here. Now, this was the best offer I got for the next 16 months, mostly just because I wasn't letting any gambling sites speak to me, but still. And because it's a per month deal, the value is really easy to calculate. I would have made 800,000 US dollars. 800,000 US dollars of gambling losses from my audience. So that amount of money would have been pretty nice. I could have bought a coffee and a muffin each day before work at my day job, but gambling still had a long way to come. Over the next year and a bit, CS saw crazy growth, skin prices went nuts, and the gambling space did very, very well out of things. And in August, 2021, another gambling site was able to get in my ear, and they offered me something quite a bit more generous. 100,000 US dollars a month, plus affiliates. Now, I don't know what the affiliates would have been because I've never been on a gambling site's affiliate program. However, I have seen some linked affiliates before due to gambling sites getting into fights on the internet, and doing my best to guess what I might have made based on them, I'm gonna say it would have been about 30,000 US dollars extra per month. So that brings the total to 130K. Now, I didn't get another gambling offer until April 2023, simply because I wasn't letting anyone talk to me. So that's 20 months, 20 months making 130K US per month, and that's 2.6 oh, million US dollars. Add that to the money I've already made as well, 
and my total income is up to 3.5 million US dollars. So what happened in April 2023? Oh, mama. I went to DreamHack Melbourne and I was introduced to someone called Ryan P. Oh, here comes the offer deluxe. Here comes the offer deluxe. Ryan P, manager of, of the Misfits, um, of like Fits and stuff. He started managing me as well. I did what Skinport sponsor with him. Oh, I'm very choosy with uh, sponsors, but there were lots of discussions, you know, and he's really good at getting the right amount. You know what I mean? Like he is the best manager that I ever worked with. <laughs> this next offer, <laughs> I don't think you're ready for it. <laughs> If, if Ryan P was the one managing the deal and he did some absolutely sussy stuff, he hello, was hello, uh, apparently hello, like, T-chat. what, uh, grooming, uh, grooming some of his clients who were some, t- I don't fucking know. Hey, uh, let's just say, let's just say nobody knows where he is right now because he's trying to hide and he scammed a lot of people as well. He just took money from the sponsors like that. That wasn't on paper that the creator didn't know about. Lots of sussy stuff. Lots of stuff. He was doing everyone in the in the CS scene. Everyone. Hey, Zeus, me. I'm not going to like, uh, maybe this wasn't public, but basically everyone. Basically. Here we go. Now, you may recognize this Brian P guy from a CoffeeZilla video where he was accused of misappropriating large sums of money. And also, but back in April 2023, he wasn't a disgraced fugitive pariah yet. Instead, he was the manager of not just the Misfits, but yeah. also 60% of all CSGO content creators. And he very quickly offered me services. Now, Ryan is a fixer. That's how he actually got so many people's trust. He finds a problem that you have and he fixes it. And Facts. in my case, the problem I had was that my YouTube sponsorships were being mismanaged. And he came in and fixed that for me. But he also presented me with a tantalizing alternative, a gambling deal worth 500,000 US dollars per month. Now, this may sound insane, but this is literally peak CS gambling. During the CS2 hype, there was a rush of gambling sites trying to establish control over- Half a mil a month, bruh. ...for the market in preparation for the new game, and they started chilling out crazy money for content. That's why he'd now now got offered $120,000 per month. There was just so much money available. And in response to this offer, I told Brian something even more insane. I said, I'll think about it. And then nah. I didn't really think about it. I told him a couple of times actually that I'd maybe try and find a way to make it work in the future, but... Realistically, it just wasn't something I wanted to do. This situation lasted until August when another content creator I know accused Ryan of doing some not particularly ethical things with money. Then there were allegations. Oh. Then CoffeeZilla announced he was involved and Ryan disappeared. Now, I don't think I would have- what he said to like, bro, I talked with Jesus as well, like off stream and we talked about the Ryan thing as well. I swear on God, why do the people who are the best have to be like like I don't know because I've never met someone like that. Why do th- why why does why does why does there have to be this fishy thing, bro? You're already making crazy money. He was getting like what like ten percent of every deal or fifteen percent, which is when when you're seeing these numbers, you know what he's getting, which is a normal cut for like uh, somebody doing manager stuff, bro. He was so good at what he was doing. He was so good at knowing what to ask, at at trying to get uh, the most out of it for sponsors and for you. He was. Always replying, always. I called him, I was like, yo, I, I, need, I need this fixed. I, I said, sent him a list like, I need perms for this event. I need um, um, I need to know if this is possible at an event, like if I can have that on, If if and then about sponsor this. Um, can you ask fucking, I don't know, just random name. Can you ask Red Bull if they're down for a sponsor? And zack, it's all done next day. He calls me, he's like, zack, so this is this, this is that, this is that, bro. And he did that, not just for me, but basically everyone else in the CS scene. Like, what? How? She was insane at his job. Insane. And he was at the top making all this money, but then he has to be this weird weirdo. GG. <clears throat> GG. Dude, bro. And what he did, he was absolutely fucking insane. Kept making 500k a month long term. There was definitely... Why glazing a- him? I'm glazing him, him as a fucking manager. As a person, absolute scum. Because, um, like, what he did, you can look it up. Absolutely ridiculous. 
but as as a manager gg gambling bubble at the time and the race would have dropped at some point but i think i would have gotten about four months of it so that's about two million us dollars total <sighs> since then i've had a couple of other offers the highest being two hundred thousand us dollars a month assuming i went with that i would have gotten seven months which is 1.4 million usd <sighs> i don't know if that would have had affiliates or not but i do know that is a fuck ton of money and i think we can move on so all up this would have left me with just short of 7 million US dollars during my entire career. 7 million US dollars. And this isn't even thinking about the stuff I could have done with that money. If I kept a lot of it in crypto, like many gambling content creators do, I probably would have made even more money from the crypto going up. And if I bought stuff like Caddo's, like Trainwrecks has, that would have made lots more money as well. Or I might have just withdrawn it and put it in index stocks. I would have paid $3 million or so in tax, but $4 million of index stocks means a passive income of something like 200,000 US dollars or so. Yeah, you're good for the rest of your life and uh, like uh, you can hook up your family, everything. It's a game changer. Yeah. The point is, it's a lot of money. People mm. say think about the kids, but if you're making the content, you, you can't see those kids. What you can see though, is the life changing effects of the money on your own life. And this is why so many people can't say no. Oh. So I hope you found this interesting. That's all for this video. Again, if you want to support the channel, like, subscribe, use my affiliate link. It's not for a gambling site, by the way, just to be clear. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya. Oh, scheiße. Hey! Dude, it's this never ending like question of like, do you do you do you take those sponsors? Do you not? Scheiße, bro. I, I haven't thought about this thing in a long time, by the way. Like in a long time. I'm just fucking doing what I do and uh, at the office, I, fuck, my email is fucked right now. I got Donna now to look over some emails, like when it comes to business stuff. Um, and she may be going in the role of Ryan, um, of like managing deals. But like with, with Gamba sponsors, I, will, I never like checked or anything. It will probably be as well, like fuck it. Oh man, I, I don't even want to know. <laughs> GG. But then again, then again, and this is for me why I don't do it. Because it would be as well, I would be fucking what, 10xing my income and it would, it would be fucking like what, I would be streaming for half a year more and I would never have to worry about money ever again. But, but at then what? And then you have all of this, this money and then what? Dude, I, I, I don't know. <clears throat> First of all, it would put this weird fucking twist on it, I think, of you making this much a month, putting in this much work and then all of a sudden, uh, um, like, bro, you, you don't look at anything else normal anymore. Like, what? And then all of a sudden, you, you don't have the sponsor anymore, and you fucking do what? You do a hundredth of, of what you normally do, and then it's like it's it's like a thing with with YouTube views or something. All of a sudden, you make a million views a month. All of a sudden, you get 50k views a month. It's, 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 it, it, it fucks with your head, first of all. And the amount of fucking money that you make is coming from the people that got you there in the first place. Bro. You know, and uh, you making your own life, you destroy, if we are talking about these numbers, thousands of people's other lives. If you make this much money, they offer to you because they make fucking what? F way more than that long term. Pah. I don't know, bro. And then again, like right now, I'm not receiving any DMs like fucking, yo, I started uh, playing uh, fucking this and that. Yo, I hit the same slot that you had. Yo, I fucking opened this. Um, and, 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 and now I fucking can't pay this. Please, can you help me out? But I'm receiving none of that because of... And, and I know that from other people who take these sponsors, their DMs sometimes are a little bit cooked because there are people who started because of them. There is this so parasocial relationship. I swear that would sometimes make me very fucking sad. And I mean that. And I mean that, bro, because this is like the reason why I'm here in the first place is because of, is because of the, uh, the community, because of the chat. I don't know. <clears throat> Poor. But then again, I always feel like a fucking... Like a bitch ass when I sit here just talking about, hey, look at me. I don't take fucking uh, uh, these gambling sponsors. That I also don't like. That's why I never talk about it. But interesting topic. And also don't say one argument that I hate, more which left. people always say, oh, why are you not taking uh, uh, to Jesus, for example? You said 500k. You would be stupid if you don't take it. Yes. But Jesus also makes with his channel, with his community, a lot of money otherwise. And I hate when people who already make a fuck ton say or, or, or try to play the card. Yeah, but look, like everybody else says they will take it as well. Yes, because it's, it, it, bro, you're already making this much and you're fucking selling out your community for that much. Like, you know what I mean? You're already making that much. Like, you're already making a crazy amount. Like, influencers make so much fucking money. It's, it's completely screwed. It's completely uh, cooked. So you would take it. Yes, I am not taking it. I haven't taken it once. I wouldn't. Oh, I don't know if this will ever change. I don't think so, bro. I don't think so.